Hey guys, Mike from the Retro Gamer Vlog here. It's Friday, you know what that means. So this week I got a lot of really interesting stuff, a lot of uh, things that I don't normally find, uh, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I've got here. The first thing that I'm holding on to here is uh, a Tiger Electronic game. I got this from a Valley Village that uh, I go to once in a while. A really cool machine, I, uh, all Tiger games are kind of fun, but normally they're kind of, I don't know if they're overpriced, but I'm not that interested in Like, I'm interested in them, but I don't collect them yet or anything. So I don't really want to pay the price that the most resellers are asking, like usual. Uh, but yeah, this was really cool. It cost me 99 cents. Um, when I checked it online, it goes for, if I remember correctly, uh, a good 30, 40 bucks. Still got the battery cover. Yes, so yes, Tiger uh, Electronic Skeet Suit. That is the first thing. Another thing that I should probably mention is that the same Valley Village, I found uh, Knuckles over there, Sonic over there, uh, Tails over there, and the uh, Chaos over there for for uh, three ninety nine a piece. Uh, they had a sale on them, so they were two ninety nine a piece. So that cost me twelve do uh, dollars without taxes. Uh, so yeah, that was a, a really great deal. I've been looking for those for a while, and funny thing is, I actually went to uh, a Game Buzz later, which is like a uh, uh, game Buzz, it's like, uh, kind of like EB Games, but they have more toys and things, you know? Uh, a much cooler store. And just the chaos uh, alone in there, it's the only one that I think I saw. I, I think it was twenty nine ninety nine. So you had ten times the price, and, you know, it's, it's a really good deal there. Uh, on to the next thing. Uh, it's pretty funny. These actually, uh, got a game, I got a Game Boy Advance. It cost me a buck, so I picked all of this stuff up. It's uh, a Game Boy Advance. It's dirty, it's really dirty on the front, so I'm going to have to try to clean it up. I don't really know how, because if you know the color of these Game Boys, it's not supposed to be that dark. So if you have a good idea, I have Magic Eraser, so I, I'm going to try that. And it came, I, I'm assuming it was the girl who uh, owned it, because you're going to laugh at me for these games that I picked up here, but hey, they're in addition to the collection. Uh, so Rugrats, I gotta, I gotta go party. Then you got uh, some Disney Princess game. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. And of course, you just have to have uh, NSYNC, yeah. So, that's pretty funny. Um, on to the next thing. Uh, at another Valley Village, this cost uh, 2 dollars It was really interesting. It's like this Pikachu maker kind of, it's like a board game, really cool has some Spanish writing on it, which is not what you usually see uh, out here in Canada. So maybe it's from the States, but also has French on it. Anyways, uh, then we've got uh, five uh, N64 games. These cost me $2 a piece at a local pawn shop. Uh, so yeah, all games that I did not have and that I'm very happy to own. So we've got Perfect Dark, which I see all the time, but it's uh, one of those games that has, I've never actually seen at a you know thrift thrift shop for basically nothing. Then we've got Glover. Which I've always wanted to play, but recently I've heard a lot of people tell me it's not a really good game. Uh, I don't know what the reason exactly is that I've been kind of interested in playing it, but yeah, so I'm going to pop it in there and try it out. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about that. So the next up is I've got, there's got, they've got, it's got some sticker residue on there that I have to get rid of, but other than that, it's a game I'm very happy to own. I owned it at one point, uh, then I traded it away. EOC Story. <coughs> it's a, an extremely fun game. Uh, I, for some reason, that's just a game that I've always wanted the box for. I'm not really sure. It's just one of those games that, you know, some games I don't care if I don't have the box for. I don't have that many boxed games, but that's just one that I've always really wanted to have the box for. Then we've got F1 World Grand Prix. Uh, I've heard great things about it. And finally, another Rugrats game. I'm going to roll today with Rugrats. 
Uh, so yeah, so we're on to the last two things. Now these, I have a little story behind. Uh, these are these kind of, I guess you could say, special things this week. I uh, like finding things like this. I've been lucky enough to find a lot of them lately. Uh, special things. And uh, basically I walked into this uh, antique store. And they, they didn't really seem to have much. But uh, I ended up finding, uh, like I said, they had like a four NES, I think. And uh, these two things. And, and a Super Nintendo. And the lady at the cash told me basically that a guy just kind of brought them in and pawned them, and uh, she she knew that the NES were valuable, uh, but she didn't really know what these things were. Obviously, she didn't really know how to read because um, it says right on them, Super Nintendo, exactly like it says on the SNES the original Model One, and it says Nintendo Entertainment System right there. Now these both came with the wires, no controllers however, but that's fine, I've already got um, uh, one of each of them with the even the uh, do dog bone controller. So yeah, basically the NES um, scared me, it scared me for these two because the NES were priced at 40 bucks a piece, um, they had that whole flashing light thing I tested around them out, so you know, yeah. So very happy to own these, they're, they're both in fairly nice shape, so, you know they've got a bit of scratching on the metallic, but the other than that it's perfect. Really nice. Um, very happy to own this. Um, honestly, I prefer the Super Nintendo, the original Model One, to the second model, just mainly because I really don't like having to rip my games out. Um, whenever I rip, you know, whenever I play like Earthbound or something, I don't want to have to rip that cartridge. It's expensive, you know. I don't want to ruin them. Um, NES, the NES though, I I absolutely love having the small. Uh, I love the size of this. It's much better for bringing it places, of course. And it's just it's much 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 uh, easier on the eyes. Um, I do like I, I do kind of like the more retro feel I guess of the uh, NES that we have to actually put the game inside of it like you know it's not just the top loader. <coughs> but regardless, I'm very happy to own these. It's worth much more than five bucks a piece, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, that's, so that's those are my pickups. Um, uh, so I think I have some, some more cool things coming for next week with some things I'm planning. Um, I'm going out tomorrow to a bunch of pawn shops and strip shops, and I'm hoping to get enough footage to put together a new video game hunting. Uh, if not, then it'll be, I guess, whenever I get more footage, especially I'm going out next uh, Wednesday, I think, um, and to a bunch of places that I just haven't been to in a while. I'm on March break, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And uh, so hopefully, if we're lucky, if you guys are lucky, then I'll be able to put out a video game hunting this week and next week. And it's just great because normally I wouldn't get enough footage to put up video game hunting that often. But, you know, this just looks like I will be able to. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And the question of this video, hmm, what should I ask? Uh, I guess I'll ask on the topic of my great finds this week. Uh, you can tell me about your favorite, I guess, remake of any console. You can tell me about the Jenny. You can tell me about these guys, what you liked or disliked about them. Uh, or you can just tell me about your day. Yeah, tell me how your day went. Okay, so uh, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll uh, hopefully I'll speak to you guys again on Sunday, and uh, so yeah, till next time.